insight, crucial, and something that I'm calling coming to composure in mind, body, and feeling. That's pro the way I put it is problematic too because it takes the traditional uh, explanation of meditation and splits half of it off, which I think makes sense, and dumps it over to the wisdom insight category because the most traditional explanation of meditation is that it's a combination of shamatha and vipassana. And shamatha means to stop, to calm, to focus. And vipassana, vipassana means to uh, have wisdom insight. So it is wisdom insight. Uh, the, the, the meditation is shamatha and vipassana, we're, then we don't need prajna. We don't need prajna. Well, we, we've got it all here. It all is, involves a matter of how you live your life, how you conduct yourself, trying to be more and more wholesome, trying not to harm oneself or harm others, coming indeed to composure and mind, body, and our feeling life, and having wisdom and insight. And the two most uh, common ways of elaborating those three learnings are the Eightfold Path and the six Paramitas, or the six. Thank you.